channel. Oh, and we have a very good cause. And my mom will tell you why. So guys, we uh, our goal is that we use this channel for charity. Charity for kids. So if we gain success through this channel, we would like to use our resources towards charity. So please show your fantastic support and subscribe. It's really only free to subscribe. Thank you. Hello everyone. Nice to see you. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to learn about a blue poison dart frog. Oh, what's that? It sounds scary. <laughs> it is. Okay. So are they really poisonous, Prisha? Well, for fact, yes, they're one of the most boy, um, poison species. Oh, yes. So they are actually, in fact, one of the most poisonous species on Earth. So what is a species? A species is um, like um, it's a, um, a whole group of beings that come together. Okay, so a species is a whole of a uh, whole group of beings who share the same genes. Like human beings are one species. Like no, not those genes which you wear. <laughs> genes which are God's coding. God has coded it. Okay. So now let's look at a few facts. So they are a type of amphibians. What is an amphibian? An amphibian is um, a moist animal which is really wet and um, it, that means it cannot survive in a desert okay so you're partly correct let me explain it so an amphibian is these are those vertebrates that need water a moist environment to survive and as you rightly said they cannot be found in a desert so uh, can you uh, think of a few examples like what of amphibians Right. Um, a ladybug, it's python. Um, no. So, a uh, frog, salamander. Sa salamander is a gecko. Yes, it's a, it's a kind of gecko, and newts. So, other type of vertebrates are reptiles, fishes, birds, mammals. These all come under the group of vertebrates. Well, can I just say something? Yes. Um, in school, um, we did a list about amphibian birds, and we even watched a video about all of them. Then we had to choose something from them and pop it in a section. Oh! And it was really fun. There was lots of swimming, cutting, and sticking. Oh wow, that's nice. Okay. So, what do you think? What What do they eat? Uh, are they carnivores? Are they herbivores? I think they're herbivores. No. These poisonous frogs are carnivores, in fact. And we'll see later on what they eat. I have one, one more which is what? A slug and snake. Yes, but these are not vertebrates. Vertebrates are those which have a spine. A spine? Yes, like we have a spine, right? At the top. Yes. So we will do another video one day about vertebrates and invertebrates. And we'll see what it is. Okay. okay. So... The average life of this kind of frog is 3 to 15 years. So you could, they live almost approximately that range. Well, um, I have a question. What is it? Um, do um, poisonous blue dot frogs, do they bite humans, do they eat humans, like what do they No, they, not, they, are, they won't do anything to human beings. But they are toxic, they are poisonous for predators who try to eat them. So if you are a wild animal and uh, frogs is your diet and you like frogs and if you happen to eat one of them then you will die because they have poison inside them. So we will see later on where does the poison come from and all that. Okay, it's down here in this section. Yes. So now let's look at the size. Yes. So they are around one inch. That's so tiny. Can I, can I share with my hands how I think? Yes, I you tell me what is one inch. That, that oh, that's that. not inch. An inch would be around this much. So, so they're that tiny. They are pretty tiny and powerful. But, 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 but it's so tiny. How can it be powerful? And frogs are usually that size. No, these are different. That is why, because it's a different species of frog. A different species. 
Mm. Can you go and get your uh, ruler and then we can see what one inch is? I'll, get, I'll be back in a second. Okay. So this ruler, Prisha, is in centimeters and we are talking about inches. So one inch is approximately two and a half centimeters. So where is it up to? Up to here. So it's about just half a nail? No, up to no. here, up to this marking. So it's just that small? Yes. It's hardly this much. Hardly? From starting up to here. It's, it's quite tiny actually. Can you not even see it? No. Do you want to take a guess what all colors these frogs would come in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once on TV I saw some videos with my mom. So once I saw a strawberry, we red one and that was my favorite. So one was a red. Well definitely you know that it was a blue because it says poison blue, blue forest frog. So um, it, it, it was blue, red, one's yellow. Okay. And I think one's green. My goodness, you've got all of them. Only one which you've missed is an orange. You could also have them in orange color. So they are quite show-offs, isn't it? They're showing off their nice bright colors. Yep, I think they are my favorite frog because they're unique and they're even colorful. But why are they so brightly colored? What I do you think? think? What could be the reason? Um, I think um, the colors is all the poison. My goodness. Honestly, how did you think about it? Because I haven't spoken about because, that to you. Um, um, well, um, frogs don't usually have poison. And, and they're not usually colored. So I just guess uh, if those frogs were colored, but other frogs aren't colored. And other frogs don't have poison, but these do. So I guess that the colors... So you used your poison. logic. Yeah. Okay. So you are correct. These colors are not only to show off, these are actually to warn a potential predator that they are poisonous and if they eat them, they are going to die. But what do you think? Where would the poison come from? Um, I think the poison will like come from um, maybe um, the tea. No, not that way. Do they, do they go to a shop to buy poison? Obviously, no. So it's coming from the insects which they eat. When do they start to get poisonous? Like when they just create it? Yes, it. they create it within their bodies. Well, and it comes from all the insects that they eat and they collect it. Okay? So that brings us to this question that what do they eat? What do you think they can eat? Can they eat a lion? Uh -uh. This is what I think. Um, I think they can eat like an ant. Okay. Small tiny bugs do things. What about um, um a school I saw like and there was this bug mm -hmm. and that was it was like a long like caterpillar but it was it was like a bee clan was a fairy and it, it mm -hmm. was, didn't have wings it was black yellow black yellow they mm -hmm. were, had tiny legs and it was that that big. Okay, okay so they can eat uh, ants, flies, beetles, small young crickets. A cricket, it's a kind of insect. We'll talk about it some other day. Okay, now let's end this uh, with this last question. Where do they live? They live, um, I think they like to live under the ground. No. What ah. is their address? Where can you find it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. They actually have a card. No, they don't have a card. So we can find them in the rainforests of Central and South America. What did we see about that? We saw that these are uh, the biggest jungles on this earth are in these places, Central and South America. Bye guys! Stay safe and stay, and stay good and don't trouble your mommies. If you don't know, send me to the rainforest <laughs> for a big adventure. Okay. And I will be there. Okay, bye! bye, -bye.